Hello guys, um, I, my name is Kiana Shvoyo. Today, today we are in Snarled. Yeah, subscribe for him because I'm gonna subscribe for her too. Because, because he, I just watched one of them and he's, I just watched every video but not all of these. So, let's. Um, we are re reacting to three horror stories from Snarled. Yeah, and today, okay, let's let's do it. We are the first is the Indonesian horror story. So let's do it. Hey, audience, it's your auntie Sapphire. Before we start today's episode, I want to tell you okay, about one of our okay, 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 okay. You've heard about neighborhood watch groups, right? Well, get this: the neighborhood watch is now an app on your phone called Neighbors. It's created by Ring, the company so behind like, those video doorbells and security studio. cameras. With the Neighbors app, you receive real-time crime and safety okay. alerts from your neighbors. It helps you stay informed about um, what's I'm going on in your neighborhood. This. Okay, something scary. Hmm. The you, okay, the Indonesian this story is based on an urban legend Pachong. from Indonesia. Okay, let's do it. There once was a young girl named Imelda. Okay. Every day after school, she had to attend religious classes. But the only way there was to go through a thick forest. Mm. Neither the sun nor the moon could shine through the densely packed trees. Mm. And since no one else in her class lived in her neighborhood, she always had to walk there and back completely alone. The first couple of times was nerve-wracking, but after a few weeks, she had grown used to the darkness and had her way home memorized. Okay. One night after class, she was headed home on her usual path, guided by her flashlight. She heard a rustling behind her, but she ignored it. She had okay. memorized all the sounds of the forest by now and knew it was just the stray cat that liked to roam in the area. No, she no, took another yeah, couple of steps of this. before she heard okay. a thump. Yeah. That was a new sound. She stopped walking so that she could listen for the sound again. It sounded like it was getting closer. Mm. Imelda took a deep breath. She aimed her flashlight in the distance. The light beam fell on something. But she couldn't quite make out what it was since it was so far. It looked white and, judging its size compared to the trees, tall. She continued oh. to stare, trying to figure out what she was looking at. Oh, no. Then whatever it was, jumped about 40 meters closer oh, to 40 her. 40 meters? Elsa took a few steps back. How did it jump so far so quickly? Then it jumped again. It was Holy now right crap. in front of her, and there was no longer any doubt in Imelda's mind what she was looking at. It was a decaying corpse, wrapped in a white shroud, bound at the top of its head, its neck, and its feet. Oh. Its withered, pale green face was the only... Wait, stop. Stop right here. Yeah. Um, when a person died in Indonesia, they do rap like that. To make it, the neck never breathe, the head never gets out, and the legs never like run or like he just like that. I really don't know how to do it. It's just like a person but alive, like a zombie. In Indonesian call them the pachang because I don't know even now. Being exposed, it had two deep holes where eyes should have been. Imelda screamed and ran in the other direction. She knew the forest well and decided to take a different path back home to try and lose this figure following her. She squeezed her small frame through a very dense section of trees oh, and crawled but through the other gone. side to her neighborhood. It, it she looked behind her briefly to see if it was still behind her, run. but she couldn't see it. When she got to her house, she the ran... The person go... Um, a normal person or a normal girl can go to two meters, and you you and the chunk go to forty meters. You're dead. And up to her mother. Mom, something was following me in the forest. It was wrapped in white and it looked dead. Her mother had an eager look on her face. Did you hug it? Imelda stared back at her mother in complete disbelief. Why would I do that? I never want to touch that thing. I don't want to see it ever again. Imelda burst into tears. Ooh. You were lucky enough to see a pachong, her mother explained. 
In Muslim burials, a dead body is wrapped in a white shroud she? and tied at three spots. Above Told the head, on the neck, and at the feet. Yep. After 40 days, the body is unwrapped so the soul can be freed. But yeah, if left like untied, that. the body will look for a living person and won't stop following them until they're unwrapped. And if one is following you... Her mother continued, with more excitement than Imelda was comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You must hug and hold it tight, so it will bestow your family with good luck and riches. Don't you want us to be rich? I don't want to touch it, Mom! <laughs> Something hit the door. Imelda, you have to open the door. She grabbed Imelda and held her in front of her, while Imelda protested. Do this for us, sweetie. Her mom opened the door. There stood the Pachong. Looking oh, down no, at Imelda's no, no, tear-filled no, 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 face, no, 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 no. her mother Don't pushed her them. forward, and Imelda held onto the shrouded corpse. Then her mother helped her pull the pachong to the ground so they could untie it. They stared at the motionless corpse on the floor and wondered, did it work? It Over the work. next few days, Imelda's mother was the most cheerful and giddy she'd ever been. She poured herself many cocktails. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wait, 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 don't drink and drive. Oh, your parents already tell you many times. Do not drink and drive. Please, do not do it. Do not drink alcohol. Do not drink anything that's bad for you. Just don't drink and drive. Imelda was devastated by the loss of her mother. But her pain was eased when she was adopted by a very wealthy family. Thank you to all Wait, of our patrons. A wealthy family. He he got the chance. He said he will give you good luck. Wait, the mom didn't got it, but the but his daughter got it. So this is the song from Indonesian story. Okay, don't add, ha, don't invite a dobby, a dobby. Okay, not this one. No. Misty, uh, uh, what? A uh, misty mountains. Okay. Happy holidays, my dark darlings. I hope spending time with family and friends is going well. I'm still in the middle of the horrors of moving, so when I need a quick break, I. Oh, I didn't press that. I didn't press that. Okay, the silent night of scary night. Huh? Okay, let's do this. Pasti ada yang berpikir kalau kecepatannya. Oh, okay, sorry about that. This is freaking out. Oh, crap. Thanks so much sorry for being part about of the that. Scary because um, now, yes, October, I don't this season, want to hurt any Indonesian world. Did you know that I know, these video I know I'm an Indonesian guy, but I'm, I already learn English. Okay? The chills and thrills continue on the Something Scary podcast. Hear more for wait. free on iTunes. Oh, wait, this is his sister or something? I think it's Spotify sister. or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Hey, I'm Markia. Wanna hear something scary? Oh, he was scary than the than the his sister. Oh, my Silent God. night, scary night. Yeah, I don't want to hear. It was the first holiday without Uncle Reuben. The Merry Christmas! My mother and I said for Christmas <laughs> dinner felt incomplete without him. My mother placed his settings and poured hot cocoa into his favorite mug. It felt like things would never be the same. He was such a big part of the family. Looking down at the cup, my eyes welled with tears. His cheerful laughter echoed in my memory, and I could remember clearly the jingling sound of his pockets. They were always filled with coins. You could hear them when he stood up from the table or wandered around the halls. Around the house, you could find little piles where he'd leave change he'd find on his walks. As my mother and I hung the stockings for the first time without Uncle Reuben, I thought about how every Christmas he'd fill them with his most prized coins. Santa left something extra, he'd say. 
but we knew it was him filling them while we slept on Christmas Eve. Okay. This year would likely be the last in our home. Granny and mom weren't able to meet the mortgage payments and the bank was about to take the house. First oh, Uncle Reuben, no. and now the place I'd spent my whole life in. No. Granny fell asleep watching A Christmas Carol before finishing her hot cocoa. As my mom got ready to leave for her night shift at the hospital, I took their mugs into the kitchen. When I went to grab the one we left out for Reuben, I was surprised to find it empty. Curious, I asked my mother if she had oh. drank it. Guess Uncle Reuben didn't want to miss Christmas, she laughed. Under the festive lights that lined my window, snow fell quietly outside as I lay awake in my bed. Quiet. It was way past my bedtime, but I found it yeah, hard I, to sleep. I, I, That's when I heard the jingle. It couldn't be, could it? Was I finally going to catch a glimpse of Santa? Shivering in my pajamas, I got out of bed. I felt something cold no. under my feet, and much to my surprise, it was a coin. The hallway was dark, but it looked like someone was walking around the house as shadows formed around the lit Christmas tree. Mm. Suddenly, there was a crash coming from the rear of the house and the sound of the back door opening. Gasping, mm. I raced to Granny's room as she opened the door just enough to let me in. Immediately, we called the police and huddled together to wait. The jingling oh. passed by the door again. No, 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 the voice shook the house and the burglar jumped as if he'd seen a ghost. He broke into a run toward Granny and me. With a snap, I pulled the hanging Christmas lights down from the doorway. The burglar tripped over the string of okay. lights. With a thud, he landed in the snow, covered in twinkling okay. lights. As a okay. police car approached. Yeah! Then he was the raving police. about being paid to scare us out of the house. After my mom got home and gave her statement to the cops, we went back inside. That's when I noticed a big pile of very shiny gold coins sitting on Uncle Reuben's place at the table. Whoa. A shadow moved toward the living room away from it with a familiar sound of change following it. Merry Christmas, I called out as that jingle faded away. In the end, we didn't lose the house thanks Aww. to Uncle Reuben's Christmas surprise. To this day, I still find gleaming coins around the house whenever we miss it. It's not scary. It's his way He's of letting about... us know. He's still looking after us. Aww. Thank you to all of our that patrons. Funny, if you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarl. Want more something scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary woman? Podcast. Available for Come free on to Apple Podcasts. No. Or... I see this. Hi, audience. It's your Ate Sapphire. So on the show, I get emails from people all around the world, and I okay, love that I get to share such that. a diverse I range of stories. Yes, okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Roku, Roku, B. Roku, Roku. The following B? story is inspired what? by a legendary I, um, Japanese um, creature. I only have one younger brother, Yosuke. We used to be close when okay, we were okay, younger, okay. but Yosuke. we grew apart. Is this Japan? I think that happened when Yosuke started dating. I never liked any of his girlfriends, and eventually he stopped wanting to spend time with me. Mm. Then one day, he called What's me that? up to tell me that he was getting married and wanted me to meet his future bride. I could tell that he was trying to hide his nervousness from me, but I appreciated that he was mm. reaching out. I had always hated that we weren't close anymore, and I mm. wanted to change that. So I hopped oh. on a train to the small town where they lived. Okay. When I got to their place, Yosuke introduced me to his fiance, Fuka. She was absolutely stunning fiance. and very funny and charming. Ooh. After we all had dinner together, I told Yosuke that I was genuinely happy for him. Before going to bed that night okay. in their spare room, I lit an oil lamp as a nightlight. I know it sounds strange, but I have trouble falling asleep in total darkness. Oh. When I woke up the next morning, I noticed that the oil in my lamp was completely emptied. I thought it was really peculiar because there was definitely a few days worth of oil in there. 
then my stomach turned. I checked the oil levels of the other lamps in the house, mm -hmm. and they were also completely gone. What? That was the first moment I knew something was wrong. I didn't want my oh, brother thinking okay. I was paranoid, so I didn't bring it up. Later that evening, we were about to have dinner at the house. I went to my brother's room to see if he was okay. ready, and when I opened the door, I caught Fuka just as she was done buttoning her shirt. Her neck was briefly exposed before she pulled her massive black hair over it, and I saw something that confirmed a suspicion I had. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, Fuka said sweetly. Are you looking for your brother? He's in the living room. I quickly Liar. opened the door and ran. Yosuke, I whispered. Have you ever noticed Fuka's neck? Oh, her stretch marks? He waved his hand dismissively. Don't be so superficial. No, listen to me. I pleaded with him. The disappearing oil, the stretch marks on her neck. I think, I think she might be a Rokurokubi. See, a Rokurokubi is a beautiful mm. woman during the day, and at night, she drinks oil from lamps and has the ability to stretch out her neck. Some oh can detach God. their heads completely and go out in search of blood to consume. Rokurokubi oh are humans oh who have committed a great oh, sin with the box. I need a box. Sorry about that. It's not. Holy mother. Mother, mother, mother. Oh my god, I will never see. I will never go to the bed. Ever. Ever in my life. Wait. If it's my mom, it's a woke woke I don't want to. Because my mom always go to Japan. Please don't hit me. Um, please don't be my mom. Please don't be my mom. I don't want to. Leave. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's continue. First, to become these creatures. Oh so, my goodness, guys. Was one of these, what crime had she committed? Yosuke let out an exasperated sigh. Look, I know you've never approved of any of my girlfriends, but you need to trust me. There is nothing wrong with Fuka. You could be in a lot of danger. Liar! 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 Lamp, lit it, and tried my best to fall asleep. In the middle of the night, I was awoken by a slurping sound. Huh? I opened my eyes to find Fuka drinking the oil from my lamp. Aww. Her neck extended all the way out the door where the rest of her body was not visible. I knew it, I exclaimed. I grabbed my dagger and decapitated her. Her head mm. fell loudly on the floor. Mm. I screamed for Yosuke mm. to come over. Mm. When he saw Fuka, he lost his balance. Mm. Then he rushed over to me and hit me in the face. What was that for? I yelled at him. I just saved you. I knew, you idiot. Yosuke shouted through tears. I knew what she was. Oh, what? He explained he knew? that he had committed a crime of passion a year ago. The gods what? wanted to kill him as punishment, but Fuka made a deal. Oh. She agreed to live as a Rokurokubi if it meant that Yosuke could live. That was the oh, day that that's scary. why you don't want. She has no control over what she does at night. He continued. She's never oh. even hurt anyone. People are just terrified of her. Okay. Why didn't you just tell me all of this? I asked. He scoffed at me. The second you found out what she was, you disapproved. I knew you wouldn't understand. Oh no! You I must haven't be spoken playing. to my brother since that day. I have no idea how he's doing. Sometimes I think about reaching out, but I don't know if he'll ever want to talk to me again. I hope that he finds love again. I really do. Yeah. And when he does, I'm going to stay far away. Yeah, you're going to stay far, 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 far away. So how did you sleep so, yeah. last night? Did you have nightmares from all... So yeah, um... All of these video, I'm gonna be at the next episode. If this video got to 10, 10 like, 10 viewers, I will upload another video of this. So, well, bye bye. See you later.